Hi Leo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I've got the cat here and Millie on my lap. So I don't know why, but they have just appeared and they us uh, the cat usually does it um, at um, on the fire sign of Sagittarius. She is a Sagittarian, so she must feel something positive about the reading. I've put the cards out and she's sitting on some of them so uh, perhaps she might move away if I keep my hand on it um, but she it's just her way of saying uh, this is a special reading okay I believe that animals are spiritual too I'll leave her this is not a, a dinner table this is just my desk okay so it's uh, okay and I clean it anyway and she's sitting on the paper so that's fine I hope you're all well, and I'm sorry I didn't go out live la yes, uh, last week, uh, except for Monday, because I've got no data, and I've got to update at um, a lo another location uh, where there is free internet, and um, yeah, I'm sorry, I'll be up in the air again uh, this, this coming week, I hope, I'm waiting for my connection, but in the meantime, I hope you will... Uh, be happy enough with the reading. I'm using the Star Tarot, and that's the top, uh, the top row, and I'm using the Pagan Tarot um, as the bottom row. I'm also using the Tea Leaf cards and Archangel Michael card. I love them, and I think they're magic. I love all my cards. Anyway, we, um, if you are new, welcome to the channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell on all and set your settings in, um, in YouTube and your mobile device then you will be notified if you don't know how to do that then uh, there is a video under news and updates showing you how to do that the first card that you have is the three of cups so you might be celebrating something on Monday as this reading is for the 19th till the 25th of October and we are also going into Scorpio the uh, energy the zodiac sign we did have a full moon at the beginning and a full moon at the end of the month and that will be a blue moon and that is on the Charmaine fest, uh, calendar of the pagans and Halloween in our calendar month so it is a significant month you already see the f uh, feel the festiv uh, festivity um, energy coming in to going on to Halloween and St. Martin's and Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year. It's unbelievable how fast this year has gone but you might be starting to celebrate already with this energy and you might be more sensitive than other times because of these significant signs, the moon, etc, etc, and going into Scorpio. That is a spiritual, this is a spiritual time that we're going into, because heaven and earth, or the other realms, and earth um, are sort of, um, the veil is very thin. Also, you might get messages from your ancestors, people that have gone over, or a special person, or the angels. To clarify the Three of Cups, you've got the Three of Pentacles. You've got recognition, so you might be getting a promotion. You might have just passed your exams. Wow, this is 3-3, three, three, so that is a significant number. Have a look on um, uh, Google what 3-3 three, three means. You can use it as an angelic number, as it is a double number. But you, there's also numerology, so have a scout around on Google what 3-3 three, three stands for. Here we have you, we've got the Queen of Fire. The Queen of Fire is recognized as Leo, and you can see the lion there. She's definitely a person that knows what she wants, and she goes for it, costs what may. No wild horses can drag her away from her ideas or... Uh, from her plans. She is determined. So this could be you, but this could also be that you uh, that you might be teaming up or know another Leo that is the Queen of uh, Wands. 
she's a very nurturing although very passionate and swift a person that is determined to take action and to get what she wants so this could be you in the middle of the week and um, that could be something not quite pure about the situation so uh, be warned as there is a seven of swords the seven of swords means there might be somebody doing something sneaky or not totally um, that can uh, how do you say it honestly uh, or, or something that cannot go through the loop perhaps this person if it's not you this person could be doing something unlawfully or they could have escaped a confrontation okay so uh, I'm reading for thousands of people if this doesn't resonate with you then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign but this person will like I said will do something cost what may they want something they will go for it okay and I've got a feeling an extra uh, voice saying to me it doesn't have to be a qu uh, the Queen of uh, Wands it can also be somebody else that is very forceful that's taking a page out of the book of the Queen of Wands but they're not getting what they want so that's why they're sneaky about it that it's not lawful it's not with a pure done with a pure heart if that isn't the case then this could be somebody that um, is leaving rapidly and unexpectedly and is leaving something behind perhaps your broken heart or perhaps something that doesn't belong um, they will take something that doesn't belong to them okay so be warned on Friday you've got the 13 and that and 13 to me means fellowship friendship you might be making new friends that's one thing but you are also rising from the ashes look at that peacock it looks more like a peacock uh, combined with the Phoenix rising from the ashes this is not a real death this is a transformational period and transformational time like I said you've got recognition and now you might be going um, for what you want you are shining in this card look at the beams of rays coming off her wands and she's going for it she's beaming I think you are beaming and this is not so serious to you because um, you know very well that you will leave or you will rise above the situation of somebody that's sneaky you know how to cope with people like that because you are strong independent and determined you can rise from the ashes you know that you don't need somebody else's support to get what you want you will do it in the right way because you are also a person that is logical and strategic and you will find an honest pure soft way you will have to you might want to use your you have to sorry sometimes you will use your claws but you will rather roar look at this you can you can be the cat but you definitely these are two cat sorts but your roar is enough to frighten somebody off <laughs> that's how I read it but you're in a transformational period you're rising from the ashes you're the but no longer the caterpillar you're the butterfly you're beautiful and you are also very tender you know how to um, how do you say that you know you know that is what I'm hearing you know how to catch flies and you catch flies with honey and not with vinegar so you won't show your claws until it is l literally necessary you will roar like the, I see an Italian Italian lady in front of me with black hair having um, shout you know how those Italians do they shout and it sounds ferocious to us because we speak English and that beautiful language that Italian Angli uh, uh, language makes it sound so ferocious that is what I'm hearing and seeing somebody shouting at somebody else 
you're putting somebody back in their place but with a nurturing nature why because um, I'm seeing that and also this is confirmed by the Queen of Cups she is a lady um, the Queen of Cups is Scorpio so it, there could be a Scorp Scorpio because it's lying next to um, the Seven of Swords um, that is not and it's facing the Seven of Swords it has not been very honest with you this could be a best friend but usually they're beautiful patient nurturing caring loving and also passionate you it could be a, fr uh, a friend that um, uh, did the dirty on you but you were great friends and I think the friendship has finished now um, because um, uh, you know you're both passionate it's and when uh, alike meet alike it is a make or break situation you are fast you can be furious you are energetic you're creative and logical the Queen of um, Cups she uh, don't exclude cancer or Pisces I've got more of a feeling this could be a cancer and then a Scorpio um, but or a Pisces um, but I, I've got a feeling it is cancer why I don't know um, but um, they're usually very spiritual very sensitive they are after all the element water and emotional um, she does have the status of the Queen but she is not so powerful within the friendship and things might be happening too fast um, in making decisions for example if you're partnering up in business and this could also in either case it could be a man that's career orientated the queen of wands is also more co uh, career orientated whilst the queen of cups is more of um, uh, a nurturing person um, like the queen of pentacles um, and the empress they're the three queens of nurture and patience and love and care more than the fire signs or the air signs even though I'm an air sign we have our emotions under control we won't show our um, dislikes or sadness emotions so openly as the other uh, three uh, people like the Empress the, the Queen of Cups or the Queen of Pentacles okay so this could be the Queen of Cups like I said somebody that might have done you wrong so you know try to talk um, be sensible uh, Leo and go back and uh, this could have happened in July or in August way back um, but um, somehow or rather I feel also that you will be reconnecting with uh, that person and talk it through but remember the friendship will never be the same never but you do miss them I also feel this could be for one or two people but you had a best friend remember um, they um, like I see cancer they they've crawled back into the shell or Scorpio have crawled back into the shell if it is a Pisces they are in conflict with themselves because they they are a dual sign and they're in conflict with one side of them uh, the nurturing side um, as the business side the nurturing side wants to be friends but the business side I think you might have collided with them in the business side that is what I'm seeing definitely well at the end that is on Friday so you could be this could be something to do with a Scorpio or a Cancer or a Pisces but prominently for me it feels like a Cancer or a Scorpio um, if you um, if you are if it's not a person then I think you might take a page out of their book and you might be beautifying yourself uh, nurturing yourself ready for this new beginning so we've got Scorpio here and we've got Scorpio there so Scorpio, Scorpio is definitely uh, prominent in the reading but I've got a strong feeling uh, towards cancer I don't know why
but that is what happens when uh, I am doing paranormal stuff and listening to my intuition you've got the six of wands yeah you have victory you've got recognition if you want to reconcile with either of these signs then you will be the one that is the winner because you've got recognition I tell you this much the fire uh, the uh, water signs are sensitive and they they might have you might have said something and they felt trodden on their toes it could be something as simple as that so go and talk it out go and talk it out and try to stop being so stubborn because you are stubborn because that uh, makes you succeed in what you want and to uh, reach um, the result to get results take a little bit of softness the nurturing and caring side stop being self-centered some of you could be really self-centered and stop being um, so harsh they might have been sneaky like uh, getting out of your way and you took it as sneakiness um, but generally um, they're not sneaky they are too soft for that okay but anyway you've got the six of ones so you've got victory you're going you're moving on and upwards definitely you might even be moving home or going on holiday if you have had your eye on a car you could be buying this car at the end of the week then we are talking about the Queen of Pentacles I hadn't even seen this card yet believe it or not but you've got the Queen of Pentacles and she's got the green fingers yes your recognition you might have sown seeds you've got recognition at the beginning of the week and you've got recognition at the end of the week and victory you've sown seeds and you might be nurturing something and this Scorpio or uh, uh, Pisces or uh, Cancer could have been jealous and that's why they turned the, the back on you you see these two Queens now the Queen of Pentacles is Virgo so it could be a Virgo that has turned his back on you or the Queen of Cups which is Scorpio but don't exclude Cancer or Pisces and don't exclude Taurus or Capricorn either but I still say go and talk make it better at least um, discuss the disagreement or the hurt or why and see whether you want to be friends or not or whether they want to be friends but I tell you it's better to settle an, um, an argument or a disagreement than you don't have any karma because karma will always come back to you or to them in threefold if you approach them and you open the door and they say no then that is their karma their karma will go come back to them the overall energy Leo is an unexpected change and again you I think it was you that had number seven no it wasn't yes you have the seven of swords this becomes a number seven one and six is seven so you've got luck on your side you've got two double numbers that's three three and seven seven so have a look what seven means an unexpected change you couldn't make a decision um, perhaps that had to do with a decision here you wanted something but they had an other um, they had an other vision and you just pushed through uh, with your decision and that's what could have broken the friendship or partnership so the divine and the angels have given you a new beginning because something was not built this partnership or friendship was not built on proper foundations and I get to hear the question did you really know each other were you true were you open did you trust each other this is what is working it's going haywire this reading is taking a life of its own crazy but don't worry the angels have your back and the divine they are giving you a new beginning and you can't change what has been done 
but you can change the present or the future. And by change is just what I said before I started to talk about this this uh, card and before I got to hear the information about this card and see what this card basically means I had already said to you go back and see whether you can talk it out so that you've got no karma and if they don't want to uh, approach you and uh, talk with you they have their own karma okay so just stand up dust yourself off get the courage up and ask whether you can speak to them and that is how you change the present and the future you will have learned from the past you won't let anybody be sneaky again or abuse you then we have the knight of swords yes it says knowledge it's news actually you might be getting a different perspective he's up in the mountains and he's looking down it looks like he's talking to the hawk and the hawk obviously has a different perspective because he flies above everything like a helicopter and he looks down like this knight is looking down the mountains so you've definitely got an other perspective you could be meeting a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarian okay something will become clear to you this news uh, will come through Cyburn this could be an email text message or a telephone call you definitely have a, a, um, a fire a lot of fire I feel fire determination and and you've got fire here you've got the Phoenix rising from the fire and you've got the six of wands and if I lift this card up you've got the ace of wands new beginnings and this unexpected um, um, card and there's fire coming out of the tower it looks more like a volcano but peace will return something was not built on proper foundations I don't think you had the full information so make sure that when you make new friendships or start new jobs um, especially with the recognition there could be a job offer or a promotion uh, look at the small print and learn from the past the first card you have is moon changes in your life now the moon to me also means there are things that you don't know the same as the seven of swords something you don't know and that's why somebody was sneaky you might have trusted somebody and they were really sneaky about it and didn't tell you and you found out too late too late changes in your life definitely that's the tower energy a sudden change beetle and the beetles always busy working and good fortune will befall you okay good fortune will befall you especially if you do good and you are transparent and you are honest nothing can go wrong then we have harp great happiness also befalls on you besides good fortune wow oh look at that moving sorry I don't know where it went under the computer right sorry about that guys so good great happiness so that is definitely something because it just flew off and that is the sign of the angels this is the strangest things that happen and this reading is really it's been um, ages since a reading has taken over its own program it's really crazy sorry about it it's so long I'm sorry and then you have spiritual protection like I said the divine is with you and he's showing they are showing it the angels and the divine silence and solitude Archangel, you've got the golden card you can take that as a medallion they're saying you've got recognition Archangel Michael calls you to connect with him on a deeply spiritual level during prayer and reflection this shield is symbolically presented to you by Archangel Michael as a powerful tool 
of protection. Archangel Michael assists you now to connect with him as a means of strengthening your union with the Divine during quiet reflection and prayer. You apply your mind to the Divine via petition, praise and thanksgiving. Archangel Michael delivers all prayers with love so that you may obtain all the gifts and graces required for your highest good or for the highest good of another. The process of prayers ele uh, elevates your mind and heart to the knowledge and love of divine things and bring confidence and strengthens your present connection with the divine and his angels. Archangel Michael will guide you to comfortable ways of strengthening your connection to the divine. He will guide you to the words to use, formal prayers to create angel altar in your home, to light a candle, meditation, contemplation practices, or uh, perhaps meditation, church music, to a church or a spiritual development group, or will importantly assist you to find the time to connect with him on a deeper level. It is time to sit quietly in reflection. Archangel Michael says stillness is the gateway of peace. So yes, we all have to meditate or contemplate, which is in a different than meditation. Contemplation is just thinking peacefully sitting somewhere that you feel at peace, no sound by the beachside or in a park or a forest. Contemplate and then evaluate. And I think you are going to do that. And I've got a feeling that um, if this reading resonates with those, even if it's one or two people, I think you will approach the person that has been sneaky and you will try to take care and be the strong one and rise above it. That is what I feel. Okay, so my darling Leo, I hope this is a psychological reading really. Uh, I hope you didn't think it was too heavy, but I think it's very deep and I think you can learn, we all can learn from this video. Take care, stay strong and believe in yourself foremost okay love yourself take care of yourself before you can take care of another or love another stay safe and be blessed please like and share